Planet Coaster 2 releases very, very soon, November 6th to be precise. And I'm super excited to try out all the different new rides, roller coasters, water park features, and of course, the scenery brush. No word of a lie, that is one of the best things to happen to this game. But of course, other than those new things, there is also a lot of old things that have been brought back and improved upon. And today, we are going to get to try out a bit of both. Because Frontier and Planet Coaster recently invited me down to an event at the Thorpe Park Resort, or no longer a resort. Thought Park and set us the challenge of riding Hyperia, the UK's tallest and fastest roller coaster, blindfolded. And then from memory, we had to try and remake it and rebuild it in Planet Coaster 2 in a very short period of time. And the result was actually surprisingly decent, so uh, be sure to watch till the end so you can see it. And also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. There is so much more Planet Coaster 2 content to come before and after release. Stay tuned. So then the Planet Coaster 2 Thought Park event. What went down? Well, uh, I'm going to quickly run through it because I know you're here for the gameplay and nothing else. Pretty much Frontier and Planet Coaster invited content creators and media outlets down to an event at Thought Park. And their main goal was to try and make us ride a few of the rides at the park and then build them in the game later on. Now, obviously, me being someone that has never played Planet Coaster before and never ridden Hyperia, let alone try to remake it in Planet Coaster. I was pretty excited to give this challenge a try and in all seriousness I was mostly excited to see how this would compare to the first game and if the sort of physics and the look of it would be a lot better. But to start that sequence of gameplay we had to ride it first. Behold my rider cam footage when I was blindfolded riding Hyperia and yeah it was a very strange weather day so you can see you, well, you can't see pretty much. The camera was steamed up beyond belief and it was too late to do anything about it. I apologise. I should work as a professional videographer now. But like I said, I went round once blindfolded, then went round again just to sort of enjoy it. We got off and went straight back to the marquee where they had these computers set up for us to play Planet Coaster 2. I mean, before that as well, they even gave us goodie bags and uh, we had like a Planet Coaster 2 windbreaker jacket. Very cool. And they even gave us a Planet Coaster 2 towel. That's the wrong way round. Look how cool that is. Very epic. I'm going to use it at the beach. But after all that and some food, as I said, these computers were set up and it was time to start the challenge. I think in the end we had about two and a half, three hours to play the game, but uh, I managed to build this Hyperia recreation in about an hour. Let's cut to that, shall we? And here we are in Planet Coaster 2. I am building Hyperia at Thought Park. And in this clip, I was at Thought Park. Yeah, that's confusing. As you can see, I've already built the lift hill, the 236 foot tall lift hill all the way up. It does say 235 on the scale. I know this is not the big one. So ignore that. Imagine it's just 236, okay? But we are going down that twisted 180 degree drop. One of the best drops in the world. I genuinely can't think of one that is better than that. And yeah, it's a mad, mad drop. And doing it blindfolded was even more mad. I wish you could see more of that because her... Uh it did steam up quite a bit, didn't it? But as you can see in the game, we are working through this coaster extremely fast. Of course, as I said at the start, we only had a very short amount of time to make this in, although we did start a lot earlier than we were supposed to, so we probably had more time. But I wanted to finish this in about an hour because I wanted to check out all of the different new coasters and stuff, which you can check out in my previous video linked in top right, or it should be out by now, I hope. Uh, but as you can see, what I want to do say about this game is the smoothing. I haven't done much smoothing so far because I still need to fix a lot of the elements because they're very wrong. And as you can see, the station was wrong as well. I got that in the wrong place, so I was redoing that as well. Uh, but yeah, the smoothing on these elements and actually going through the different coasters, not only on this coaster type, but the others as well, the way the smoothing works now is so much better. They've added the back and forth smoothing as well from the mods in the first game because uh, they obviously saw what was going on there and they thought, They've modded that in and it works really well. Let's actually stick it in the game. And I'm so glad they did that because honestly, it makes smoothing a whole lot easier because that end element, you know, the wave turn towards the end of the ride. In Planet Coaster 1, I was trying to smooth that out and make it as intense as it is in real life and it just wouldn't have it. Planet Coaster 1 just made it just an unbanked hill and it was pretty bad. But this, it keeps the shape, it keeps that outwards bank Honestly, the smoothing model is perfect now. I absolutely love it. And as you can see, I'm now doing some terrain and scenery brushing. What an 
absolutely amazing feature the scenery brush is. When I said earlier it's the best feature in the game, uh, it's probably not the best feature, but it's one of the best. It's so useful. You used to sit in Planet Coaster 1 and just go, duplicate tree, duplicate tree. Oh, stick a bush in, duplicate tree. And it was very, very tedious, so I'm really glad we have a solution to that now. And the fact you can change it to be rocks or other trees or palm trees and stuff, amazing. Absolutely love it. And as you can see, I am now building the station, I thought, you know. Haven't really built many buildings in this game, and the one I have built was some weird Viking drop track building, and it was awful. So <laughs> let's actually give a realistic looking shoebox building a go. And that is what I'm trying to do here. Build the Hyperia Station building. And um, there's this bamboo uh, sort of wall piece that actually looked a lot like the sort of metal lines that they have on the actual building in real life. And I found that and decided to use them here. And what I do love about this game is the fact wall pieces. Just wall pieces in general. <laughs> the fact that a lot of wall pieces in Planet Coaster 1, you couldn't tilt them or anything like that on an off axis and have them slanted a little bit or anything like that. But now they have non-grid slot walls, so you can actually do that sort of thing, which I absolutely love. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. And wings. Look at the wings. Wow. Cool thing about the scaling tool with this is I, I stuck those wings on the side of the building as well using the scaling tool and made them massive because that's part of the mythology slash Viking feature pack theme. And you should be able to see me do that. There we go. Perfect timing. Wow, I'm so good at timing things. There you go. There are the wings on the side, the scaling tool to make that slightly bigger. And, uh, and now we're back round to the front where I'm sort of making that bog of a lake at the start of the ride uh, a little bit bigger and actually putting the station above ground rather than half in the water and in some rocks around as well because why not and uh, even added some smoke that goes off when the ride starts because there is that effect on the ride in real life so why not put it in Planet Coaster 2. But looking past my entire saga of waffling, uh, as you can see, the ride is now pretty much finished. It's not my best work because I only had an hour and this is a brand new game to me that's very different from the original. So do cut me some slack with this POV you're about to see. There's a lot of banking issues and stuff, so I wish I could have gone back and redone it. But I can't. Enjoy Hyperia in Planet Coaster 2. sure to check out some more Planet Coaster 2 content on this channel through this playlist on screen now. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more Planet Coaster 2.